Edward Lear, born in Holloway, England, is chiefly remembered for his nonsensical poetry and limericks. He assumed various roles of illustrator, landscape painter, poet, travel writer and composer during his lifetime. He achieved fame with the publication of his volume of painting, Illustrations of the Family of Sitta Sidae, or Parrots. However, due to failing eyesight, Leo became a landscape painter. Around this time, he published a volume of nonsense verse, a book of nonsense, dedicated to the children of his patron, the Earl of Derby. His other writings on nonsense verse include nonsense songs, stories, botany and alphabets, more nonsense, pictures, rhymes, botany etc. and laughable lyrics. He also musically adapted a few of Lord Alfred Tennyson's poems. Tennyson, in return, penned a poem for Edward Lear, which was inscribed on Lear's tombstone. The poem The Duck and the Kangaroo is from his collection Lear's Nonsense Drolleries, The Owl and the Pussycat and The Duck and the Kangaroo. It is a humorous account of a conversation between the duck and the kangaroo. Through this conversation, the poem explores the themes of exploration, friendship and adventure. Here is the summary of the poem, The Duck and the Kangaroo by Edward Lear. The Duck and the Kangaroo by Edward Lear is a nonsense poem. A nonsense poem is a poem composed of comical words intended to create a humorous effect. In the poem, the duck admires the kangaroo's ability to hop over fields and water without stopping. The duck considers his life in the pond boring and longs to experience the world beyond the pond. In short, he wishes he could hop like the kangaroo and see the world. So, the duck asks the kangaroo for a ride on his back. The duck promises to keep quiet and say nothing except quack for the whole day. He hopes they will travel to D and Jelly Bowley as well as over the land and sea. D and Jelly Bowley are words made up by the author to achieve a comic effect in the poem. The kangaroo in return says that he needs to think about the duck's request. Overall, he thinks that the duck will bring him good luck. But he has one objection. He thinks that the duck's webbed feet are wet and cold and will probably give him rheumatism, that is joint pain. The poet has shortened the word rheumatism to rheumatis for two reasons. One, to provide humor in the poem and second, to maintain the rhyme scheme. The duck replies by saying that he has already thought of this problem. The duck has bought four pairs of worsted socks that fit his feet perfectly. Worsted is a fine smooth yarn of wool. He has also bought a cloak for the cold and a few cigars. He has bought all these goods in order to follow his love for the kangaroo. Finally, the kangaroo says that he's ready. The night is filled with the dim light of the moon and two friends are ready to start their journey. The kangaroo instructs the duck to sit quietly at the end of his tail so he can balance himself while hopping. And thus, the duck and the kangaroo were off with a hop and a bound. They hopped across the world and saw it three times. The duck and the kangaroo were the happiest of creatures in all the world.